All right, guys, it is an awesome time of year. We're exactly one week away from deer season. And I'm gonna show you a very simple method. Uh, we show it to you every, every year, but it's a product called Antler Grow. And it's literally a no smoke and mirror way to attract deer. It, it, it's, this is the fifth year using it. We use it all year long, but we're gonna take you through this process today on exactly how to spray it, mix it, where to get water from, how it works on the plots. We're gonna have an awesome day, fun day. When we get done here, we got about three, four acres of spray. We're gonna be heading over to Chris's property and we're gonna be spraying three acres or so there as well. And, um, but if Chris backs up here, we'll show you what we have here. Thanks to Jeff Beeler, Antler Grow. We shipped out, we got two gallons of Antler Grow and we got um, two gallons of Farmer's Touch, which is, this is the fertilizer brand, Farmer's Touch. And then we have the Antler Grow brand, and this is 100% micronutrients. There's no fertilizer in here. There's a lot of people that get that confused with the, with the two brands, but Antler Grow owns Farmer's Touch, just a different brand through the company. But this is your micronutrients, and this is your fertilizer. We also have, um, we have a pump here, which siphons water out of the creek and we have a 24 gallon uh, spray tank with two uh, 1400 Buminator nozzles on it that shoot out the back, gives us a good 15 foot span on each side. Uh, we have winter wheat, some uh, rye, oats, and a brassica plot. We're gonna be spraying out the brassica plot. Um, we'll show you on that as well. We're gonna be spraying that with a little bit different method and I'll show you that once we get back there. Let's get busy. We gotta get loaded up here and we gotta get the water uh, filled and we'll get to spraying. like this it doesn't require a whole bunch it just depends what you want to do but we have a measuring cup you know we'll use that and then um, we, just, we come back to the creek here we got a germ we'll fly over and then uh, we just have a, a box here just have our, um, our water pumps in it and then we'll just set this over here and typically what we'll do is also have a 25 footer here and then we have my water. Well, we have a pump, and what we'll do is we'll just hook it to our battery, and this here will we'll fill our tank, and then we'll run our, our, our 25 foot hose over to the creek and let it siphon out into this tank, and we'll measure it. And uh, that's pretty much it, really. But uh, behind me here, scan over this way. Over this way, we have our, our beautiful brassica pot, man. They're, they're just hammering it. And right over there, about 50 yards we have our two tree stands it's an awesome spot I remember years ago when I first when we first got this place I told myself when I first saw that tree that it's in the pine tree I said this is gonna be the lucky stand I, it was just a I just felt it the way the land kind of went in there into this field um, it was gonna be a good spot and every time we hunt that stand we kill deer or at least see deer a lot of deer so uh, that's pretty much it Let's get to mixing, get to siphoning water, have fun today. All right guys, so you just seen us spray the big plots. Now, I don't want to run over the brassica plot with the four wheeler. Now, in areas that you can, let, let's say you could drive straight through the plot on the four wheeler and you could turn off the plot and then come back through, then that would probably be okay to, to use the four wheeler to, you know, to spray your brassicas. In this case, we really can't and we'd have to turn too much and I don't want to rip up you know the plant so we're going to use the trusty uh 24 gallon or uh 24 volt backpack sprayer battery powered and 
I just filled it up with four gallons of water. Now on this here, um, it's one ounce per gallon of water. We're gonna juice it up a little bit. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do six ounces to the four gallons. That was the antler grow. And then we'll do the same thing with the MPK. Since I'm feeling sparky, we're gonna do six here as well. And boom. And that's it guys. Chris is gonna film this, we'll take turns spraying. But uh, electric backpack prayer backpack sprayer is the way to go when you do stuff like this I had the, the pump ones for years it's annoying they work but you just have to constantly sit there and pump this actually distributes the spray you know 100% even there's no see so that way you don't kind of overspray plants but uh, not that it's a huge deal but um, it's a little bit easier put this on and you screw this on get the spray so we moved over to this uh, kill plot here that you can see from the sad daddy and uh, we got Chris here spraying with the backpack sprayer we filled it up three gallons pretty small plot but uh, it's nice and green you guys can see behind me here and uh, yeah pretty exciting one ounce per gallon of water always guys unless it's brand new vegetation uh, and just cut it back to a half ounce, but he's back there with a battery powered sprayer. And right over there is a sad daddy blonde. You can see this plot from. And uh, we're one week away from deer season. And uh, I'm super excited. We got this path here we mowed with the uh, mower there to get back into so we can sneak back into the plots. He's going to hit all that browse there too. Don't forget about the browse, not your browse. And uh, yeah, pretty exciting. All right, so you guys can see behind me here, I got this huge field. It's probably about it's two acres, three acres of uh, wheat, rye. Uh, we just got done spraying it with the antler grow, MPK mixture. Um, I get questions about this stuff all the time, but any questions, guys, you can email me, comment down below. It's always one ounce per gallon of water. We get that question over and over and over again. 25 gallons of mixed product per acre. So 25 gallons of water, 25 gallons of antler grow, or I'm sorry, 25 ounces of antler grow, and 25 ounces of MPK. Mixed together, and you spray it with water. 25 gallons of mixed product per acre. And that's what we did here, roughly. And um, we're one week out from deer season. And another trick you guys can do is, say you have a bow stand, and you have a little eighth acre plot, just spray that plot. Don't spray the broad you know, spectrum of things like you would in the spring and summer because you want to try to attract them to that plot itself. So don't go nuts with it. So we sprayed our plots and we sprayed the browse around the plots because deer eat browse. That's what they live on. Without food plots, the deer aren't going to die. The food plots are there to supplement them and attract them to a certain area. So we're wrapping up for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions, comment down below. We're going to head over to Chris's farm and spray that one next.